हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू येट अनदर वीडियो सो फाइनली गुड न्यूज़ फॉर वन प्लस नाइन एन आर टी यूजर्स वन प्लस हैव स्टार्टेड रोलिंग आउट ऑफिशियल ऑक्सीजन ओ एस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन फॉर वन प्लस नाइन आर टी सो इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स क्विकली गो थ्रू ऑल दी चेंजेस वॉट दे हैव डन विद ऑक्सीजन ओ एस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट ओके सो हियर वी हैव अर वन प्लस नाइन आर टी आव ऑलरेडी अपडेटेड द डिवाइस टू ऑक्सीजन ओवेस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन स्टेबल बिल्ड टॉकिंग अबाउट द सॉफ्टवेयर इन्फॉर्मेशन इफ यू गो टू एंड्रॉइड वर्जन एंड्रॉइड वर्जन इज ट्वेल्व एंड नाउ वी हैव फिफ्थ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सिक्योरिटी पैच बिल्ड नंबर इज सी डॉट जीरो फोर प्रीवियस बिल्ड वॉज सी डॉट जीरो थ्री विच वॉज ऑक्सीजन ओवेस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन ओपन बीटा वन एंड हियर ऑल्सो इट सी इज नाउ ऑफिशियल अपडेट यू कैन सी हियर ऑक्सीजन ओवेस ट्वेल्व पॉइंट वन एंड गाइज इफ यू हैवेंट रिसीव दी ओटी अपडेट आई प्रोवाइड दी फाइल इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो यू जस्ट गो टू अबाउट सेक्शन टैप ऑन अप टू डेट एंड देन टैप ऑन दीज थ्री डॉट्स फ्रॉम हियर यू कैन सेलेक्ट दी फाइल जे फाइल सो हियर वी हैव दी जे फाइल दी अपडेट साइज इज अप्रॉक्सिमेट फोर पॉइंट सेवन जी बी सो डाउनलोड दी कम्प्लीट जे फाइल लेटर यू जस्ट हैव टू सेलेक्ट दी फाइल एंड यूर गुड And guys, before moving ahead, let's keep a like target of 500 likes on this video. We still have 83% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So if you guys find our videos helpful to you, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Okay, now first talking about the benchmark results. So here we have the benchmark results using Geekbench application, and all these benchmark results were performed without using high performance mode. So here you can see with single core device have scored 841, and with multi core device have scored 3325. On open beta. one scores were with single core 774 and with multi core 3399 with an to benchmark application stable version of oxygen os 12 have scored 6,9787 and on the previous build of oxygen os 12 open beta 1 that time device had scored 7,5258 so slightly lower benchmark results to be seen on this stable build but these number doesn't matter in day to day usage and till now most of you guys must be aware about all the changes what oneplus have done with oxygen os 12.1 or you can say 12 first of all soon you install oxygen os 12 you'll get to see the color os launcher though it has lot many customization options compared to oxygen os launcher which was the stock launcher there are lot many things you can do on oxygen os 12 for example you can lock the application which you frequently use and depending on your usage also device will automatically select the applications which you have been using on regular basis this is quite a useful feature and the selected apps doesn't get closed even in the recent panel So here you can see the applications like Facebook, Gmail, Instagram, Twitter, WhatsApp have been logged and if I clear the applications those applications will not get cleared from the recent page. Then if you need to make changes between the animations of app startup then you can do that also. By default it comes on medium and if you want to increase the app opening or closing speed you can tap on fast and now you'll see a lot of difference now. So according to your requirement you can make changes there. With single swipe you can move around the icons present on your home screen instead of selecting them one by one. Also OnePlus shelf have been now completely redesigned. There is also a new gesture and that's when you swipe down from the right top corner you'll be able to trigger shelf. If you're new to Oxygen OS 12 then by mistake you'll trigger this OnePlus shelf a lot of time while swiping down the notification panel. Though there's an option which can help you disable this So if you go to the OnePlus shelf setting here you can see we have an option launch shelf from the right top corner you can disable this and now if you swipe from the right top corner you'll get to see the notification panel instead of OnePlus shelf and on my particular device i do have the support of wideband security level as l1 because most users are always concerned before updating their device i always get few messages whether wideband security level gets changed or not guys i cannot guarantee you anything but on my device right now you can see wideband security level is l1 If you guys have ever used the OnePlus Scout feature then on Oxygen OS 12.1 you guys will miss that feature in the app drawer because that feature is not present here in the app drawer instead of that they have added this feature in the OnePlus Scout so if you guys want to use OnePlus Scout feature for that you also have to use OnePlus shelf in this video we'll be just doing overview of Oxygen OS 12.1 stable build for OnePlus 9 RT within 2 3 days I'll come up with a in-depth review where I'll tell you performance part camera improvements are there or not along with the game. gaming stuff talking about the gaming parts so let's check whether oneplus have enabled 90 fps or not in games like battlegrounds mobile india so basically we still don't have the support of 90 fps in games like bgmi and we are not exactly sure whether it's an issue with oneplus or it's an issue with crafton 
So let's wait and watch when OnePlus gonna provide support of 90 FPS in games like Battlegrounds Mobile India. As per OnePlus, they have also optimized the auto brightness, but we'll have to use the device for a day or two to get a better idea about it. They have also added a new chart under battery section, which gives you few information like whenever you have used your device too much, it shows you high usage. And if the device is normally used, you'll get this green color in the battery graph so for example here you can see after upgrading the device i played bit of bgmi where you can see device shows high usage then we also have multiple modes for the dark mode where you can switch between enhanced medium gentle gentle will give you that grayish background medium will bring it close to dark and if you tap on enhance or you select enhance it will give you the pitch dark theme on your device we also have features like adaptive contrast which will automatically adjust the screen contrast intensity according to the ambient lightning. And if you have selected the dark mode, here we also have an option called adjust wallpaper to dark mode. So let me show you an example. So here is the wallpaper right now. You can see it's a bit dull. If I disable that feature, it will come back to its original colors. So there we go. Let me show you once again, enable dark mode and here you can see. One thing which I forgot to mention you guys, so here in the OnePlus shelf, OnePlus have added the OnePlus Buds card along with OnePlus Watch card. So if you have those two things, you can see the card in the OnePlus shelf section. We do get the updated version of work-life balance, so you can set up work-life balance as per your requirements. But this is a newer version of work-life balance where you get a lot many things like you can choose auto switch mode based on the Wi-Fi connection, location and many more. And you can also select your work application, whichever you prefer to use during your work time i personally don't use this feature so if you guys are into it you can try it out and let me know what's the best part of this newer work-life balance which you like then talking about the gallery so yes gallery application have also been updated here we have the support of pinch in and pinch out which will change the layouts of gallery as you can see here if i pinch in the layout is completely different if i pinch out we do get a different layout and now gallery app is ai based so depending on the photograph and the picture quality it will automatically crop the photos for the gallery thumbnail now they have also added the newer version of canvas aod so let's choose a photo from here let's generate and you can see there are a lot many options to customize the colors styles can also be customized now we have approximate six styles and if you want to erase some extra portion from canvas aod that can also be done so this is the newer version of canvas aod and let me show you how does it look once you set it on your device and here you can see this is how canvas aod looks on oneplus 9rt and with the stable version of oxygen os 12.1 oneplus have also added the hyper boost engine though there won't be any kind of dedicated settings for that it's system implementation and comes in play when you are gaming later they have also done few changes in the ui of camera application though i'm not sure because from the day one i've been using oxygen os open beta 1 on my 9 rt and i don't remember the previous layout of camera application though they say they have improved the zoom in and zoom out effects and yes guys there is a bit of improvements which i can feel while zooming in and zooming out or switching between different lenses as i said i'll be coming up with a complete review in which will include the camera performance also so stay tuned for that with the talkback feature oneplus says they have added more support of stock applications for example phone mail calendar and photos app so guys these were all the changes what oneplus have mentioned and provided us with the stable version of oxygen os 12.1 if you still have any kind of questions or if you want me to check out any particular stuff on this build do let me know before i post a complete review as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys gonna like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day